it is the self-contraction and experience is how it shows itself until you understand it most fundamentally and tacitly as an inherent and or fundamental rather uh, action of the total body mind that consists of all these faculties until there is the freedom to move beyond the self contraction your experience is always trapping you uh, always tending to, to trap you tending to bind you tending to confuse you uh, running you around in circles of uh, bewilderment and desiring, seeking, presuming, thinking, reacting, doing, anticipating. Seeking until eventually <laughs> uh, it all winds out and becomes a pattern of or sequence of disease, old age, and death. Uh, presuming you're lucky enough to get old age in there. Uh, But however old, however young, you're still doing the same thing. Be better to learn long before you run out of steam uh, what you're actually up to and what you're actually suffering. Uh, you must identify your suffering even in your apparent enjoyment. You must. find your freedom even in your pain mm -hmm. and apparent suffering. There is something that you must understand about your own activity. That is the fundamental matter at the ground of this way. True hearing is essential and unique in this way and essential for the process to mature toward the perfect practice. Listen to all the questioners and you find them stopped in their tracks by some, some experiential matter of some kind or another, sometimes described even very positively, uh, but distracting, sometimes described negatively, most often described as in some sense a problem. You're all potentially going to ask me a question here, whether you ask it tonight or not, you may sometime or other. You are all, in some sense, working on the question you're going to ask me. <laughs> <laughs> and where are you going to get it from? <laughs> you're going to get it from the trap of your own experience. <laughs> 